Sean Chitness is here to demonstrate how he can sound like Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> Not <laughs> we're, yet. <laughs> we're actually kidding. Really, though, you talked to a Bay Area congressperson who is taking this very seriously, saying that we all need to be talking about protections because AI is going to become a larger part of our lives. Right. This isn't just about Hollywood, and we'll see that it's going to affect a lot of different yeah. industries. Now, the controversy speaks to the challenges ahead for people in many different fields and, of course, our own personal protections when it comes to AI. On Monday, Scarlett Johansson said she was shocked and angered. Her voice was used without her permission. She believes Sky, the new voice for OpenAI, sounded a lot like Johansson's voice in the movie Her. Johansson says the CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, asked her twice to do the project, but she declined. The company says it has paused using Sky's voice out of respect to Johansson. All of this comes after we reported last week on the partnership between Veritone and Creative Artists Agency to have a digital assets vault to protect actors. We heard from a local voice actor worried about securing everyone's work, especially those early in their career. South Bay Congressman Ro Khanna reached out after that story on the partnership. He says Congress needs to act and pass new laws on this issue because if AI is not regulated, too many people will lose their jobs. Well, I think if it's left untouched, what we're going to see is massive wealth accumulation in the hands of a few. You may see new jobs, but those jobs will be not for the ones who are losing their jobs. So if, if truck drivers and screenwriters are losing their jobs and their new jobs to manage uh, the creation of AI, that doesn't wash. So on that point of truck drivers, that's one example of where the congressman has argued AI needs to be in a role that enhances what the worker does, not replacing them. Requiring a human driver on any self-driving truck of a certain size, that's what he wanted. That's what some in California wanted. It was an issue in the legislature last year. But Democrats were divided, and Governor Gavin Newsom, he vetoed the bill. Well, Newsom has arguably some national ambitions. Mm -hmm. It's just obvious here. And we're seeing some vetoes that speak to questions we anticipate in the next five years he'll be asked on a debate stage. I mean, it's just obvious, right? And, and so the congressman's point is this is where the business side and the labor side are at odds. And right. it is in everyone's interest to make sure that we think about labor, make sure that the worker is represented. There is a way, he believes, for AI to actually lift people up, give them generational wealth. But it's only if laws are in place and the government gets involved. And AI is changing so quickly also. I mean, there's something new about it almost every single week. I feel like we're reporting on something different. So this is certainly going to evolve even more. It's so, a new California gold rush. Yeah. That's, that's, so that's like. certainly what he would argue. And that's why it will be interesting if they can move fast enough, especially if we don't have any action until after the election in November. Mm. Really interesting stuff. Sean, thank you. All right.